Hey, what's up? Thanks for checking out The Real Sigma. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, I want to let you know that The Real Sigma is now a podcast on Spotify. Now for today's topic, the Sigma male versus haters. And how does the Sigma male deal with haters and trolls? And I came up with this idea because the channel is growing and I'm now beginning to get a few haters and trolls in the comment section, which of course is expected and actually desired. Because this is fantastic, it's a great indicator that the real Sigma is doing very well. And as I saw some of these haters and trolls in the comments, I thought, wow, this would actually be a great topic to break down for my audience. And so I do want to thank the haters and trolls for giving me another video idea. And before I begin, I want everyone listening to know that when you begin getting haters, it is a great indication that you are on the right path. So learn to appreciate the role of haters in your life because they actually do serve a purpose. And they are actually big fans of yours, which I will explain later in this video. So first of all, let's define what a hater is and why is he a hater in the first place? So the hater, also known as a troll, is a very insecure and emotionally wounded and rejected person. He usually has been rejected by high quality women and others in society to some degree. And when the hater sees or thinks about someone that is succeeding in areas that the hater cannot, it makes the hater feel even more insecure because the hater is forced to see all of his shortcomings when he sees the Sigma or the Alpha. And when this happens, it creates a very uncomfortable feeling for the hater or troll. And so the hater or troll is filled with extreme jealousy. You see, the hater only hates on people that are superior to him or succeeding in an area that the hater is deficient in and usually in the areas of attracting women and in generating money. And that is why you don't really see haters hating on people that are below them. You only see haters hating on people that are many levels above them. See, the hater wishes that he could live the life of a sigma or an alpha, but he does not have the skills or mindset to achieve the life of a sigma or an alpha. And as a result of this extreme jealousy, the hater or troll will spend much of his free time thinking about how much he hates the Sigma or the Alpha. And it's not that the hater actually hates the Sigma or Alpha, but he hates the fact that he is not the Sigma or the Alpha. And so he will use a lot of his energy to talk bad about the Sigma or will act very tough online by leaving comments that show everyone his insecurities. And so we have seen the rise of the hater or troll in modern society because of the internet. You see, the hater or troll is able to feel significant because for the first time they can express their feelings and someone may actually hear it or see it. So they have an online profile that they can express their feelings by leaving distasteful comments without any physical consequences. Whereas most people would never even pay the hater any attention in real life. And so this is the hater or troll's only avenue to have his voice heard. And this will embolden the hater or troll to take his hating to extreme levels. And that is why you see trolls on the internet saying the most extreme and hateful things. See, before the internet, haters could usually only hate on sigmas and alphas by gossiping or telling lies to other people within a social structure for example like in high school and this was very risky for the haters of previous generations because word would eventually get back to the sigma or the alpha that the hater was talking a lot of trash and therefore they would be confronted with a high probability of getting beat up or even shot or killed in extreme cases but in today's society, the hater or troll can say anything that they like anonymously without the consequence of getting beat up or killed. And so that is why we have seen such a massive increase of haters and trolls in the online communities over the past 15 to 20 years. So what haters don't understand about the Sigma is that he is not a sensitive or hyper emotional man. 
the way that the hater is. The Sigma is a logical and analytical man that knows his value. So people calling the Sigma names or lying about the Sigma really doesn't affect the Sigma at all. The Sigma won't even spend any time thinking about it because the Sigma will only give his thoughts, his time, and his energy to things of high value. And in order to get a response from the Sigma, first and foremost, you must be in his class and on his level, which very few people are. And so that is one of the reasons why the Sigma moves through life so efficiently. He is only spending time or attention on people that are on his level, so that automatically cuts out about 95% of interactions, which gives back significant amount of time and energy to the Sigma. And as a result, that gives the Sigma a higher quality of life than most people. See, he doesn't find himself getting annoyed and frustrated with people because he doesn't allow them to be in a position to annoy or frustrate him. And that is a big factor why the Sigma is always at peace. He does not get into meaningless altercations with low-level people. He is never having to deal with people that are not of the highest quality and maturity level. And that makes life much more enjoyable. It makes the Sigma very efficient and that is why he is always recharged and fresh. He is never drained and exhausted. See, he is the most efficient man in society. And like I said, he doesn't waste or squander his energy. He uses every ounce of his energy on things of high importance. And that is what propels his life forward so quickly and effectively. You see, the Sigma is robotically efficient in many aspects of life. And that means financially, physically, emotionally, dietarily, and most importantly, spiritually. You see, the Sigma does not have or want any unnecessary things in his life, and that is why the Sigma is also a minimalist. He doesn't have or want a lot of material things. The less things that he has, the more free he feels. And having too many material things feels like a heavy weight to the Sigma. It's just more things that he needs to manage. So he only wants the bare necessities. He doesn't want a ton of things that bring clutter into his life. He only wants what is necessary or things that bring him a higher quality of life. But whatever few things he does have, he wants those things to be the absolute best, the highest possible quality of those things. So he doesn't want a lot of clothes, but what clothes he does have, he wants it to be the absolute best, the highest quality and style. And that goes for everything else in his life as well. The Sigma doesn't want a ton of vehicles, but he wants the best vehicles. So you get what I'm saying. And so the Sigma only wants things of high quality and he will only respond to people of high quality. And that is why the Sigma never responds to haters because they are not up to the Sigma's level and standard of quality. And the Sigma knows and understands that the hater hates as a coping mechanism for their insecurity and rejection issues. And that is why the Sigma does not take personal attacks personally. And obviously there are levels to hating, with the most extreme haters being gamma males. And I know I haven't really discussed the gammas yet, but I will do a breakdown video of this archetype sometime in the near future. But the gamma is the social outcast or reject of society. They usually look very strange physically and they are very angry at society and the world because they have been rejected by society. And they always blame their problems on others or on society. And so the Gammas are usually the most extreme haters and they are the most likely to put in the most effort to hate or sabotage because their hating is fueled by deep emotional wounds and rejection. But this is not exclusive to the Gamma because hating is caused by insecurity and jealousy. So even the Alpha and Beta can become extreme haters. But the Alpha and Beta are usually more moderate level haters. They don't go to the extreme like Gammas do. And the Delta male and Omega male are less likely to be haters in general because they don't really have any ambition or desire to advance in life. 
so they don't care that people are more successful than them. But obviously they can be haters as well because of insecurity and jealousy. Now, the Sigma male doesn't hate on others because he is simply confident in who he is and what he can do. And also the Sigma doesn't care what anyone else is doing because he knows that others what others are doing has zero effect on his life. And like I said, the Sigma never squanders his energy. So he would never spend any time or energy to hate or troll on someone because there's no direct benefit to the Sigma's life by doing that. And the Sigma is far too focused on his own life to worry about what others are doing. And the Sigma is the one that is not controlled by emotions. He is logical and he is an analytical man. So he doesn't get wrapped up in feelings the way the other archetypes do. But that doesn't mean that Sigmas cannot hate on someone because they can, especially the immature or underdeveloped Sigmas. But in general, the Sigma simply has no interest or energy to hate on others. It's generally not in the Sigma's nature. And so oftentimes you will see gammas, alphas, and betas hating on sigmas and alphas. And they are doing this out of insecurity and jealousy, like I said previously. So the hater or troll actually desires to be the person that they are hating on. They see all of the desirable qualities in that other person. But since their emotional and intellectual level is so low, they express this admiration of the sigma or alpha in an unhealthy way by attacking them and they project all of their insecurities onto the Sigma or the Alpha. And so how does a Sigma male deal with haters or trolls? Well this is very easy for the Sigma. Remember the Sigma is a logical man and he is not caught up in emotions and feelings like the other archetypes. And remember the Sigma male does not care what anyone thinks or says about him especially if the attack is coming from someone that the Sigma views as inferior and not on his intellectual level. And I heard someone give a great analogy. I believe it was the YouTube channel called Far From Average, and they explained the Sigma as a pit bull. And the hater uh, was described at, as a chihuahua. Now the chihuahua is a very tiny dog, but barks and acts really tough. The chihuahua will even bark at the bigger pit bull and maybe even try to bite the pit bull. But when you observe the pit bull, you see he doesn't even acknowledge the chihuahua even though he's barking, even though he's being loud and even snipping at the pit bull. And the pit bull knows he could kill the chihuahua with one bite, but he stays calm and relaxed. He doesn't even acknowledge the little puppy, the little chihuahua. And as the chihuahua keeps barking and being loud and acting tough, the pit bull will just treat the chihuahua as a little puppy or a baby, and, that, and he will not take him serious or even consider him a threat. But let's say that another big dog begins barking and coming at the pit bull. The pit bull will respond because the other big dog is on his level, and the pit bull will defend himself against his opponent. And that is the same with the sigma male and haters. The Sigma already knows that the hater is small and weak like a Chihuahua. He knows that the hater is insecure, jealous, and in actuality very afraid and scared. And the Sigma understands that the hater or troll is miserable and very insignificant in the scheme of life. And so just like the pit bull doesn't respond or acknowledge to the barking Chihuahua, the Sigma will never respond or acknowledge the barking hater or troll. See, in order to get a response from a Sigma male, first you must be on his level or in his class. And even then, the Sigma still may not respond because he simply doesn't care. He is too busy enjoying his life and making money. And the Sigma male is the one that sees right through fake and fraudulent people. So when he sees an Alpha, Beta, or Gamma acting tough or hating on him, the Sigma instantly sees all of their rejection issues and insecurities. And so the Sigma may oftentimes end up having pity for the hater or troll. And that is why the Sigma doesn't take personal attacks personally. 
because he knows it's coming from people that are deeply broken and emotionally wounded. So if you want to be a Sigma male or operate more like a Sigma, make sure that you never respond to negative things from insignificant people. Sigmas have more productive things to focus on than personal attacks from low-level societal rejects. And because the Sigma understands that personal attacks do not affect his life, the Sigma would still continue to make money, live a great life, and attract beautiful women regardless of being hated on. And the Sigma will not even take personal attacks personally because he knows that these attacks are coming from inferior people just like the chihuahua at trying to attack the pit bull. And so I hope this video was helpful in understanding the psychology and behavior of a hater or troll. So please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you found value in this video. Also remember that The Real Sigma is now a podcast on Spotify. The link is in the video description. So please share the videos or podcast with your friends and family just so that they will understand you better as a Sigma male. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at JB the Real Sigma. And if you have any topics that you would like me to break down, please leave them in the comment section. So thanks for checking out The Real Sigma. Keep working on yourself and master your emotions.